Bojer here, producer for Discovery Space, which is the Discovery Channel's website all about space. That's at space.discovery.com. Check it out if you haven't been there yet. Uh, as you can tell, this is the fantastic super deluxe holiday edition right behind me. Uh, Christmas tree, menorah, little cabin with smoke coming out of it, all that jazz. Anyway, this is your weekly wrap up and preview for the site, and let's jump right into things. First thing I have for you guys is some news about dark energy. This is what scientists think the universe looks like. This is the cosmic web, as they call it. All these little points of light are individual galaxies where they clump up. Those are galactic clusters. All this empty space, that's where they think dark energy hangs out. And dark energy is this weird, mysterious stuff that in fact constitutes more than 70% of the entire universe. Matter, stars, planets, that's less than 1% of the entire universe when you think about all the energy that came out from the Big Bang. So it's pretty amazing that we know nothing about this stuff, but astronomers have caught it in the act, pushing apart these galaxy clusters as it expands the universe. And it's, it's not mind-blowing news, at least not to the scientists, but it's still another piece of the puzzle to understanding dark energy. And we put together a huge package for you, by the way. If you are on the Space Disco blog, look down there. Um, if you don't know how to get there, look to your right. Uh, on the YouTube page, you should see a more info button. Click that. It should give you a link to Space Disco. Anyway, there's tons of links, tons of great stuff to check out there about dark energy, and I hope you do so. Uh, next thing I want to tell you guys about is the uh, finding on Mars. Ever since Phoenix uh, went, went to Mars, people have been paying more attention to it. Well, there are, uh, you may not know that there are satellites around Mars, too, and one of them has detected carbonate in the soil in the northern part of Mars. And here is a Google map of Mars. And this is the part where they found it. This is uh, Nisili Fossiae, I can't pronounce it exactly, but um, it's the northern part of Mars and they found big deposits of carbonate. Okay, who cares? Carbonate means that it, the water that deposited these, uh, these minerals was not very acidic, which means uh, the chances for life are probably uh, better now that we know this. So that's pretty cool. There may have been life uh, on Mars in the past. This is more evidence to show us that uh, it might have been possible. So that's big news and you'll hear more about that. Next thing I want to tell you guys about is the Google Lunar X Prize. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a 30 million dollar uh, private race to the moon. So you gotta land a, a robot on there and it's it's got a film in HD quality uh, the site and send it back and send a, a bunch of data back too. Well, a new team, actually two new teams have announced themselves. One is called Celine, and they want to do like a rocket car. Check this out. They want to do like a rocket car style rover, so that's, that's pretty neat. And uh, another team is uh, Euro Luna, and they want to do, uh, it's, they call it like a cell phone, so it kind of looks like that. And the last bit of news is that Mystery Team, which I had been hounding for weeks, I, I got an interview with them, and I worked with a couple people on Twitter. They released a video last week and we beat them to the punch. They, were, they announced, uh, the mystery team announced who they were and this is, this is their spacecraft by the way. It's like a little hopper type vehicle but it's Next, uh, Next Giant Leap is the team name. If you look down again on Space Tesla Vlog there are plenty of links to sort of piece together the trail that we put together and decoding who this mystery team was. So that's kind of fun. Uh, that being said, let's get to your weekly preview. It's going to be a holiday week but that's not going to slow me down at all and giving you guys some great stuff First thing I want to tell you about is a slideshow, 10 of the best images of 2008 from, from telescopes, from astronauts, artist renditions, all that great stuff packed into a slideshow. Also, there's a video that we're putting together on the best and worst space moments of 2008, so that'll be a lot of fun, crammed into one or two minutes. Um, after that, I've got a mic take for you. I have more of those planet puzzles I've been dishing out the last couple of weeks. And finally, I have an IM interview with the guy who wrote this book. He's a scientist that worked on the Galileo team, and the Galileo went out to Jupiter and checked out some of the moons along the way. And one of those moons was Europa, which is this tiny little dot right there. Uh, you can see a big red spot. So it's a little moon, but it's got it's covered in ice, and it's really cool because its orbit around Jupiter, scientists think, makes it hot on the inside, which makes an ocean in between that rocky core and the crusty, icy outer layer. So there, there might be some chance for life there. We're going to talk to Richard and actually have him compare that to Saturn's moon Enceladus, which you might have heard about recently because Cassini is out there, the Cassini spacecraft, taking pictures of this thing and they're just mind-blowing images. So we're going to talk about the differences and similarities between Enceladus and Europa because they're both icy moons around big gassy planets and uh, they might have life underneath them. So that's going to be a lot of fun and that should take you guys through most of the holidays and I will check in with you next week. <laughs>